Hey everybody, this is Key with Messy Desk. So, I'm on our Messy Desk Crafters Facebook group. Beck has put out a challenge to all of us. We've been noticing a few people, not to mention any names, Mimi or Leslie, that have uh, been saying things or criticizing themselves or downplaying their skills and talent. So, Beck has challenged us to create a jar. Now, you guys know of the, the, the cuss jar, you know, the swear jar where, you know, anytime you say a bad word, your kid makes you put in a quarter or not a dollar or whatever um, to try to break that habit of saying swear words. Um, so this is kind of the same concept. We are to alter a jar and each time one of us says something that downplays our skills or our talent, then we're to call each other on it and we have to pick either a dollar or a craft item and we have to put it in our jar to try to break that habit of criticizing ourselves. We know we're all our own worst critics. Um, we're all guilty of it so we're going to try to break this habit in our group by creating this jar. So this is the jar I'm going to use. It's just a plain jar from Ragu. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started now and let you guys watch. And uh, I'll be back when I'm finished. Okay, everybody, so I have finished my jar, and I'm going to call this the rock jar. Now, I have added a whole bunch of roses to this because I absolutely love roses. This whole jar is made out of my favorite colors, which are purple and teal. Um, the first thing I did, as you saw on the video, was I took a piece of blank canvas. It's a natural canvas, and I, it's from Recollections and uh, I glued it down to a piece of cardboard or chipboard stuffed it with cotton and made my pin cushion um, and then I took the teal colored tool and glued it down to the lid on the jar and then cut it across so it's like a ruffly thing and uh, then I stuck the pin cushion on top of that and then I took crinkled seam binding from Shabby Scraps, which is at uh, zibit.com slash shabby scraps. And uh, I tied it around the pincushion, tied it in a bow. And uh, there's the bow there. 
I love this because it's crinkled, crinkled seam binding, and it's my two favorite colors, so it works. So anyway, the next thing I did was I took a doily, and I sprayed it with uh, Tattered Angels, and I don't know the color offhand, I'm sorry, but it's a teal color. And then I uh, took my stamps, my recollection stamps, and I stamped You Rock on it. And uh, then I took my uh, Distress Stickles, and the color is Milled Lavender, and uh, went over the stamps. So the jar says You Rock, and I'm being careful because the stickles aren't dry yet. Anyway, so then I took roses, purple, white, purple and white roses um, from my stash and, and glued them on there. And then I used a few acrylic flowers from the Shabby Scraps shop. And then lastly, I made two stick pins um, with my gemstones because what's going to happen is when I get called out on criticizing myself or downplaying my skills, then what I'll have to do at that point is go in and add a gemstone to my jar. And uh, so hopefully I will not be able to fill it up with gemstones because I love my gemstones um, and I want to be able to use them. So anyway, this is my jar. This is what I've done. Thanks, Beck, for the challenge. I think this was an awesome challenge. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I put the purple cameo on also. Anyway, thanks, Beck, for the challenge. It was an awesome challenge. I'm going to treasure this jar and hopefully keep it empty. Um, so I can't wait to see what everybody else has done. This is Key, and this is my jar.